One difference between uh, the public media in Venezuela, it's really common, you can see a journalist uh, wearing a teacher with Chavez or with Maduro now, or whatever, but you won't see here a journalist working in a state uh, in uh, Televisión Española on Televisión de Cataluña. You won't see you won't see him with a T-shirt with Artur Mas or with Mariano Rajoy. You know that's really it's. I think it's quite a unique thing that we get in in Venezuela. In 1998, we had a great political parties crisis. Like the political party system was really low on credibility, and the parties, the traditional parties in, in Venezuela, were really off the game. So, media acted acted as a political agent. It's true and we have to acknowledge that. Media at the beginning of this uh, worked as a political party in a sense that took um, a role that wasn't taken by the parties at the moment. And Hugo Chavez was a leader that became a leader because of this political party's crisis. And media helped him at the beginning. Media was a platform that helped Hugo Chavez to get in power. And later on, like that, there was a honeymoon that lasted for too short uh, of a honeymoon. Later on, media stop working as a platform for the government because now that when he stopped being a candidate and was now in, in, in office, media started to demand for results. And from the beginning, uh, media in Venezuela has had an important role that I wish we didn't. And I wish we had a stronger democracy where political parties had, could do their job and we do ours. And that worries me because now, given this situation, we have a mixed up in the roles. What media should do, what political parties and political leaders should do, what the president of the state should do, and the citizens are caught in the middle of all. Hugo Chavez was really clever in many ways because he knew how to push hard enough to take you to your limits and then lose. And now I see that Maduro, he doesn't have this ability of, um, of working with the forces. And his, Chavez was a, a he had his ideas, regardless if you like them or not, but he, he had his ideas of his own. And what I feel is that Maduro is following a script that was left undone for him to finish. And he's taking a more hard line, even harder than we could ever expect from, from Hugo Chavez. Well, like for instance, well, like, as an anecdote, my mother who lives in Caracas, she asked for me living in Barcelona for information about Venezuela, where she is. 
because in in national television, public or private, there's not uh, more info, not much information about the protest and the manifest on the demonstrations. So that's what, when she asked me, "Do you know what's going on here where she is?" I thought that was like, okay, there's clearly a blackout of information in the country, and. Now, what, what is going on is that information is still finding its way through social media. And that has a, a big risk because social media is not only, you find not only journalists, but you find people, citizens, these journalists, citizens, that they could have many different interests or on creating contribution. So it's hard now to get straight information on what's going on and to have to find reliable sources on 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 what's really going on in the streets of, of Caracas and other cities in, in the country. I still have faith in in independent journalism. And I think it's one of the good things of this crisis in general, not only the Venezuelan crisis, but here in Spain and everywhere, is that people, if media is losing credibility, uh, I think it's a moment for journalists to win, to gain credibility. 